Hey guys, Steve here from the Cook Family Homestead and if you can see behind me is my electrical box and today I'm going to put in a dedicated plug for my welder. So I'll show you everything you need and how to, how to do it. So let's get it done. All right guys, let me show you everything you're going to need here. Um, First of all, you're gonna need a plug. And most of your welders are gonna have that three-prong outlet type here. This is a 50 amp plug. And this is just a flush mount power outlet. It was almost $10, so it was basically $10 at Lowe's. Um, you're gonna want the cover for it. That's a raised cover, and that was about $2.50 or so. It's a four by four cover. You're also going to want a 4x4 four four box, but you want to make sure you get the deeper one, the 2 and an eighth inch. Um, and then that cover mounts right on that. But you want the little deeper one because uh, your plug there needs a little bit of room in the back. So when you, when you put your plug in, you want to have enough room in there for your wires. So this box and this, were, I think we're about a total of $5. This was 10 so that was fifteen dollars. You're gonna, or, uh, then you're gonna need a fifty amp breaker. So you want to get a fifty amp breaker. Uh, you're gonna want to get some conduit, and uh, this is just half inch that I had laying around the house. I already cut it, and this will go. These will just your end caps that screw into your boxes, and I'll have one to the box like that, and the other end will go into the electrical box and that's what I'll mount it on. But you probably would be better having three quarter inch conduit because it's gonna be a tight fit because you wanna use eight gauge or six gauge or eight gauge wire. And as you can see here, this is six gauge wire here because I'm also gonna make an extension cord. And here's the other thing, if you wanna go this route as well, you can, this is the end of the extension cord I'm gonna be using. These black, uh, uh, plugs here are, act are actually $11, basically $12. And these actually mount right to the wall as well. So if you just wanted to go pick up one of these and run wire right to your electrical box, you could actually mount this to the wall. I just wanted a little more cosmetic look to it. Um, but this will be the end of my extension cord. But this is about 12 bucks. This all was about 15. So, you know, save you $3 if you wanted to go this route. So let's get this mounted up and uh, wired up. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cover off the box and I'm going to figure out where to mount my box. I'm probably going to mount it on this side over here, somewhere right here. Um, but I'm gonna figure out where I am. I'm gonna get my conduit ran to it and my uh, wires all ran up and through. Then I'm gonna shut off the power and um, hook up my breaker, hook up the power to the plug, and then see if it works. All right guys, I have the power off, and as you can see, I have the box mounted, conduit in there, uh, have some wire, the wire coming out the end. This, just so you know, six gauge wire, an eight gauge wire, not the easiest to work with. <laughs> Um, this is 10 gauge wire here, as you can see, a lot easier to work with than this. So, I got my uh, wires all in there, and obviously I have a ton left over. Um, so we'll get that hooked up, and I'll show you how all that hooks up here as soon as I get it wired in, and I'll show you that. Alright, so I want to show you, if you can see, hold on, get this. Uh, plug so I can show it to you. This is a 50 amp plug. This is what it looks like. So on the back you have your two live uh, screws there and then you have your ground. So on this I took the coating off this wire just so it was easier to feed through the conduit here. So I have my red and my black are going to be my live wires and then this is going to be my ground. So these will go into the black and the, the red will go into these two holes and then I will, and then this plug will get mounted in there. So let me get that mounted on so you can see that. Then I'll come back and show you. That is the wires all hooked in there. And um, so that plug is ready and that plug will go in and it will look just like this when I have it all done, when I put the cap on. 
and make sure always double check make sure your uh, electrical box is shut off because this is danger time here if it's not but this is my ground wire so this is going to go in my ground bar here and you can pick any pretty much any one of these slots so what I'm going to do is cut that I'll put about down to there I think and then we'll Cut a little piece off that. And we'll put that and we are screwed in tight. So our ground is in there. Okay, next step is you're gonna to wanna to figure out where to put your breaker. Uh, I'm gonna stick mine right here next to these other four and uh, our other three. And um, then we'll uh, cut our wires to fit and get it all wired in. Okay, I wanna show you where this goes in your breaker. These are where your two live wires are gonna go your hot wires. So you're gonna put those in and then just tighten your screws down on them and then you can pop your breaker in. We're gonna cut these wires to length. We'll loosen these up. So this is our breaker uh, that I just put in and here is our red and black off the end. We'll leave it off and then it runs down and if you can see it goes into, let me lower the camera here a little bit. So it just runs down, down into here and then through the conduit there, through here and to our plug. Pretty easy and I know basic electric, actually if I have a question I call my dad because he knows what he's doing. So anything I have a question on, he, I, I call him, but I know basic electric, anything major, I don't, you know, I know how to put breakers in, run, basic wiring so um, if you don't know what you're doing just be careful you know probably get someone that knows what they're doing because this is uh, a lot of uh, juice here so um, let me get the cover on and I'll show you what it looks like all done before I put the cover completely on I wanted to show you how this cover goes on the plug there's two screws these screws come with the actual plug and uh, this cover bolts right to the plug so when you put it back on um, the whole cover is part of the um, the whole cover and plug are together. So like if you pop this off, that's how it's going to look. So we'll put these back on. See if the plug works. <laughs> juice okay there is the plug all installed there is the breaker and I already have it marked for the welder <laughs> so pretty easy hope you like the video please uh, subscribe to the channel like uh, I'm gonna do another video here probably next couple days I'm gonna put the cord together and I'll show you how that's done pretty easy uh, I'm also gonna be doing some welding videos coming up uh, I got some projects coming up and some jobs on that. So uh, I'll show you all that. So please subscribe, like, and share, and leave some comments below. Uh, I like, uh, I like uh, uh, chatting back and forth in the comments a lot. So uh, we'll see you next time. God bless.